everyone, welcome back to our latest Opportunity Elite player development video. Today in our individual training session, we're looking at controlling the ball from different heights and then adding in a little bit of fast feet, ball mastery and skill on the ball. So this session can be done at home in a little space between two cones. It'll get you lots of touches on the ball to help your control and skill. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Hit the little alarm bell next to the notification box and you'll get notified of every single YouTube video that we upload. To start off, we're just going to make sure that we are focusing on a quick warm up, getting touches on the ball. So as you can see here, just quickly, we've got thigh and volley touches, making sure we are using both feet. As we progress, we're using that thigh and then we're controlling on the laces and using the outside of the boot to push it to the side, rolling it back into the middle with the studs. What we're aiming for in today's session is to make sure that we can bring the ball down from different heights and different angles, get it steady on the floor, allowing us to then go and perform the skills or the techniques required to potentially beat someone or keep it under control to move into a better situation within the game. So we want to get that ball on the floor and under control. And for this next drill here, we're looking at bringing the ball down with the inside of our foot. So as you can see, we started off by flicking up in the air and then just using the inside of the foot to pop it across our body. When we do so, we bend our knees, we try and keep our weight central. We're not leaning too far forwards or too far back. So we've got good balance and we can then push that inside of the foot touch across our body. Moving on from the inside of the foot, we're now looking at controlling it with the outside of the foot. So we've started here with a little flick up, we've controlled it on our thigh, and we've kept our eyes on the ball. As the ball's dropped, we brought the outside of the boot towards the side of the ball, and we're sort of pushing it down back into the ground. So we're bending those knees, getting slightly over the ball, and we're just pushing that ball across our body again. Make sure that you use both feet, focus on that body weight. As a little progression here, we'll be using a lot of this during the session, the laces. You wanna be able to get the ball down to the ground from a height using the middle of our shoelaces, cushioning it to the floor. If we're controlling it and it's bobbling away to the side or bouncing up in the air, it can make it really tricky and difficult to get control and then complete what else we need to in the game. So we wanna get it down to the ground, steady on the floor. So for this next part of it, we're looking at adding a step over him. We want to settle that ball, get it steady on the floor. Keep your eyes on it as it's dropping and get the middle of the laces on to control it. Step over and take to the side. As we do that, we're really focusing on this control and the speed of step over. Again, it's that body weight central, eyes on the ball, and just making sure we have a quick change of direction. Try not to let the ball bounce too high up in the air after your control and keep it nice and steady. What's great about this is we don't need a lot of space, so keep it under control. Now starting at the side, nearer to the white cone, we're gonna pop the ball up in the air, control it, and then with the inside, almost of our big toe, we're going to touch it across our body, allowing us to step over. As we've done that, we swap to the other side and we're focusing on the other foot. But the key part to focus on here is that touch and a quick drop of the shoulder. So our first touch has allowed us to keep the ball on the floor, which makes it easier to perform the skill afterwards. So get that touch on the middle of your laces right down to the ground. It's up to you how you want to start off the move. You can get the ball into your hands and throw it up in the air, or you can pop it up and do a little kick up. It's Whatever you fancy, whatever you feel will suit you better, but just make sure the key things are the control and the skill using that drop of the shoulder. We're now looking at trying to progress with the skills more. And in order to be able to perform better skills, you need to have a better touch to get the ball under control. So using the Akocha here, it's a little roll, step and collect. We're going to get that touch on the middle of the laces, making sure the ball stays in front of us. It allows us to keep our balance and then roll the ball with your studs, step over, collect 
and start again. But get that control as like a little cushion on the middle of your shoelaces. What we're looking at progressing into more now is turning, a little bit of a change of direction. We've got small space, but we can turn lots in a small space and it's going to help improve our touch and our control on the ball. So here, get your touch on your thigh, let the ball drop slightly to the side of your body so you can then turn using the outside of your boot. As we turn, we bend our knees, we try and get our body weight slightly forwards and we're hooking it right back round in the direction that we've come from, making sure we have steady touches. We're now progressing and adding in a reverse step over. So we've had our turn and we're adding a second turn straight away. So what we wanna make sure is that we don't over hit the ball when we're hooking it with the outside of our boot. Get it slightly ahead of you, allowing you to coordinate your feet and get that reverse step over in allowing you to turn and keep that ball under control. Don't forget to use both feet. It might be harder on one foot on your weaker side, but that's fine. We just wanna focus on both feet because eventually the more so that we do that, the better you'll become and the more comfortable using that weaker side you will be. We're really going to try and start progressing things now. So it's chest to control, laces to bring the ball down to the ground, a quick step over and then an L turn. So we wanna get that touch in front of us, making sure it's not bouncing too high in the air. If it does bounce, then it's very difficult to get the ball on the ground and perform the skills that are coming up. So focus on that touch and control. To progress that now, we're adding in a reverse step over to the movement. So we're going chair thigh, reverse step over and back in. Now it's a quick spin, get your body weight central so you can turn quickly and you can have good balance. The low central gravity will really help here, but the key part is that touch on the thigh. We don't want it hitting our knee, we don't want it hitting the outside of our thighs. It must make sure that it goes just slightly up in front of you. As it does, that gives you time to arrange your feet, get your touch and then perform the skill. Bringing another progression into it now, we've got the step over. A quick step over to change direction, allowing you to then organise your feet and get that reverse step over in. But the key part to the whole thing again is getting that balance and that control on the ball. As you look when I'm controlling it, I'm getting it on the middle of my thigh. And as I just use that thigh, I withdraw it, allowing the ball to settle in front of me. If I bring my thigh up too quickly to the ball, it's gonna pop too high in the air and take me a long time to get it under control. So have it as a cushion again. Be soft with that ball, get it under control. So from that session there, we did a lot of control in that thigh foot area getting the ball settled on the floor to be able to do the skill to go and progress. You've got to have a good touch to be able to complete the skill, so it's really important that we practice that. As we can see, we don't actually need a lot of space to practice, and we've got a lot of good touches there. In between these two cones, probably about three yards. Three yards of space, plenty of touches, plenty of turns, plenty of skill, and you'll see your game improve hugely. If you do a session like this for two times a week, you'll really see your close control improve the way you're positioning the ball and then your skill and turning as well.